Hey everyone, I am Anti Kaur and I am currently working as an instructor at Scalar Academy. So people, welcome back again. From this video, we will be starting with the complete tutorial on DBMS and SQL. So from very basic to advanced concepts, we will be covering each and every topic in great detail. And the interesting part is, along with the theory, we will be covering practical aspect also. So for every topic, we'll actually see how they are practically implemented. So if you want to grab placements, internships, or you are in college and DBMS is your subject, just go through these videos and you are good to go. Now, let me quickly go through all the topics which we cover. First is, what is DBMS? Like, why it's so crucial? It's actually the backbone of entire tech industry. So why it is so important? Then relational database management systems. The different keys in our database, which we are always confused, like what is primary key, what is unique key, what is candidate key. So we'll be covering all the keys in the database with the help of different analogies and examples. Then of course, ER diagram. Entity relationship diagram. So we cover ER diagram with the help of a case study, an interesting case study. Then normalizations, the different normal forms. Then going on to the SQL part. In SQL, we will be covering third operations and the important topic joins, aggregate functions, complex queries. Right. Then in advanced concepts, like transactions, indexes, views, concurrency. So often people say like indexes reduce the time complexity, uh, helps to query in the database faster. But how actually indexes are created? How actually views are created? We want different views for different end users. Right. For example, in a college database, for student, we want different views. We want different view of the data, right? And for instructors, for mentors, for teachers, we want different view of the database, right? But how actually views are created? So we'll actually create views and indexes on our tables. Then transactions, asset properties, which is the most important topic of interviews, right? But how actually asset properties are conserved in transactions? The different stages, the different levels of transactions. So we'll be covering all that. And how two people are concurrently accessing the same database at the same time? How this is actually possible? So what is concurrency? How concurrency is actually implemented? So we'll be covering all the advanced concepts and basic concepts with SQL in great detail. So. I hope you are also as excited as I am. Now, without further delay, let's quickly jump into the video. 